welcome back to my channel uh just gonna do another one of these um nice linen wash paintings and i did actually want to get a, a dipping pen because i have lost the nibs to my dipping pen i've got plenty of pots of ink and i've got just the sort of barrel end of a pen with no nibs so i end up getting another pen and then to my mistake it was one with a cartridge that you pop in and I'm not really very keen so I'm just sticking with this um, one of my liner pens for now until I get a replacement for that there's nothing quite like um, dipping in a pot of ink I don't know it's uh, can be messy can uh, you can get splats of uh, ink over the paper and unwanted areas but there's something kind of nice uh something authentic almost of using a dipping pen so i'm using using a reference for this uh this painting this week and it's actually a, a photo i took while in pool down in dorset um we did go last year but I think this was a photo that I took from maybe a couple of years before then. So it's of pool um, from the harbour looking inland. We've got a few nice buildings. And there is a little bridge or some sort of... Uh, it is like a little bridge. It sort of goes up a stairway. I don't think it goes anywhere in particular, but you go up on these steps and you got this quite a nice view. And looking... Inland, this is the view that you that you see. So there's a couple of nice buildings. This uh, round building here that you can see me sketching. Oh, and I have sped the video up. I'm not that fast at sketching, if you've not noticed. And um, I actually went in without pencil. I was debating it, but it's almost like one of those contour drawings that you see, if you've seen that, um, where you don't leave... The pen doesn't leave the paper, but I'm not quite, um, I've not really done that before. So, but it's close enough, and uh, so it's nothing perfect. Um, it is hot pressed paper, and so um, I'm just going in with the uh, marks and not even, um, it's quite quirky, so I'm not after straight lines, and um, it, it's nothing perfect at all. But I like the, the style, the looseness of it. And so I'm just finishing this sketch with pen and then I will be adding some uh, colour to this uh, sketch as well. For this painting, I'm not really 
too bothered about colour. So I'm not going for the local colours, the colours that are actually there. I want to just um, make this painting as interesting as possible. So the sketch is fairly accurate, a representation of the reference. But for the colours, I'm really not too fussed. I think um, more important is the tonal values. So um, you can change the colours, um, but I think I'm going to stick to getting the right tones and that's pretty much it. So it is uh, quite a nice free way of doing things. Uh, just putting the paint down and even letting colours blend together and mix and all those nice things that happen with watercolour. So that's the look that I'm going for. We actually do like uh, Dorset. We like to travel down there in the summertime. Uh, but last year, last summertime, it was, wasn't very nice, the weather. Uh, it just rained every day. So, um, But let me know in the comments if you, you've been to Dorset, what's, uh, what areas are nice to visit. Um, let me know what you think of Dorset in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, then please do check out, check out my other videos. I've got a few playlists. And I think most of my videos now are beginner friendly. But if you look for beginner tutorials, then you'll find plenty to, to, uh, to watch. Um, hopefully you find some of my stuff uh, interesting and useful. And if you're, if you're not subscribed, then please do subscribe to my channel. Um, I upload each and every week, usually Monday. So um, I get regular regular videos to, to publish. And uh, just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I do upload. Mm -hmm.